coming from NASA and bringing the technology to the real world, especially in climate tech. Hi, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, so I'm Rowan, co-founder and CEO of Helix Earth. We are taking some NASA technology, kind of like you mentioned, uh -huh. and bringing it back down to Earth, if you will. And we're <laughs> using it now as a plug and play add-on for air conditioners to reduce energy. So we can reduce the energy by up to 50% in air conditioning. Let's instance. talk about this visual tech first, because yeah. it's, it's mind blowing. So you put some water, You now you are making, like simulating humidity. Like this is humidity you're showing here, right? That's the point? That's kind of the point, yeah. It's just, we're spraying water in our, one of our proprietary filters, it's a helical filter, uh -huh. is up here. And so we pull in air, we spray water, and then the filter pulls it out of the air, and we get dry air that comes out of there. Wow, that is so true. This is clean air, dry yeah. air. So in our process, it's the same thing. So we spray a, a liquid desiccant, which is a salty solution that has an affinity for moisture, that binds to the water, and then it sends dry air to the air conditioner. And so it turns out that 50 to 80% of the energy used by air conditioners in humid climates actually goes into pulling humidity out of the air. And so we do that in a much more efficient way than the air conditioner would. And so as a retrofit add-on, we can increase efficiency. And we can also increase the indoor air quality and, and uh, make the indoor space much healthier for occupants like me and you as well. Because the amount of CO2 emitted in the next few years will be maximum from air conditioners, right? Yeah, by 2050, Air conditioning is going to account for 8% of global CO2 emissions. So that's going to be more than the aviation industry and more than the passenger vehicles on the road as well. Oh my God. So how long do you think it's going to take us to see this technology in all the humid parts of the world? So we uh, we now have commercial scale products. Um, not out on the market yet. We'll be getting into full scale production in the next year. So we'll be out on the market in the next year. We'll be doing customer pilots and customer tests uh, in the next, next year, in 2026, with volume production towards the end of the year coming online.